If you wonder why make homemade chocolate pudding when you can use a mix from the store, well it's because there's no weird ingredients inside, you can easily whip up any flavor you want and you choose how much and what type of sweetener to use. Making this chocolate pudding from scratch is so easy, you'll need just 5 minutes and handful of basic ingredients and forget about avocado or banana. Start by adding the dry ingredients to your saucepan, first cocoa powder for rich chocolate flavor, dark chocolate comes later. Then I need some thickener, most of the recipes use cornstarch to make the pudding thick and creamy, but I use my favorite ingredient ever, homemade oat flour. Oats will do the thickening and add some fiber to your pudding too, some salt to enhance the flavor and I like to sift my dry ingredients just to break up any clumps. Then I slowly pour in the milk, whisking well all the time. For extra creaminess I use whole milk, but you can use any milk you have on hand. Now instead of any refined sugars I add maple syrup to sweeten it up, mix it in and it will look like hot chocolate, but if using rolled oats you can do all this in the blender. Just to mention if you check a box of instant chocolate pudding you'll find these artificial ingredients, so homemade is always a better option. Then place the saucepan over medium heat and keep stirring. I do this all the time and soon the mixture will slowly start to thicken. Once you see it's bubbling on the side, stir for 1-2 to two minutes, depends how thick you like your pudding. Remove from the heat and add the dark chocolate to make everything more creamy and use the best quality chocolate you can get, at least 70% dark. Also some vanilla extract and whisk until it's all melted and silky smooth. Anyway, it should be thick enough to coat the back of your spoon and it will continue to thicken as it cools down. If pudding is too thick for your taste, just add some milk and whisk it in. Finally, pour the pudding into ramekins, jars or any other containers and give it a time to set in the fridge. Yes, you can eat this chocolate pudding right away, but it's better when properly chilled. And if you don't want that skin on top, place a piece of plastic wrap right on the surface of the pudding. It is absolutely delicious on its own, but I like to top mine with a spoonful of vanilla whipped cream and sliced fresh strawberries. Either way, this homemade pudding is my favorite after dinner dessert. It's perfectly sweet with rich chocolate flavor and smooth texture. I'm sure it will satisfy your chocolate cravings and it's a healthier option. But if you want just a bite of something sweet after dinner, make these healthy chocolate truffles. They are super easy to make and I show you how to make two different versions. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.